Hey guys and welcome to my channel, in this video I want to talk about what happens when you stop taking probiotics. So, what happens if you stop? Well, your microbiome changes when you stop taking a probiotic supplement. Within 3 days, your microbiome can reset to whatever diet you are currently eating. For example, if you go on vacation and leave your probiotic at home plus you're drinking more and eating less healthy, your new microbiome will adjust to the not-so-nutritious diet quicker since you're no longer supporting it with a probiotic supplement. This can be problematic because you lose the protection of the probiotic supplement, and if you're not eating the best foods, it may be causing inflammation in your gut. As a result, this could potentially set you up for GI issues, or even chronic medical problems. Ideally, you may want to talk to your doctor to see if you should be on a probiotic in the first place. There are different strands of probiotics, so you want to find the right balance for you, and what your body needs. Is there any consequence if you stop taking probiotics? The best thing about probiotics and its benefits is that you won't experience two common side effects of drugs which are tolerance and dependence. Tolerance is a constant need for increasing the dose of the drug in order to maintain the effect you're looking for. While dependence is the necessity of the medication and worsening of your physical health when you're not taking it anymore. In other words, probiotics are not addictive and you won't have any side effects if you decide to stop. Now, there are also potential complications for your immune system by probiotics you will need to consider. To stop taking your probiotics might not be the best idea in certain clinical situations. In cases of diarrhea probiotics are usually prescribed to relieve symptoms of diarrhea. If you stop taking probiotics, every bowel movement will move a massive amount of liquid and sweep your gut from its gut microbiota. Not replacing lost microbiota with probiotics may lead to prolonged diarrhea. You also shouldn't stop taking probiotics during a Clostridium difficile infection which is very difficult to treat, and most therapeutic approaches include probiotic use. These supplements are useful to favor colonization by healthy bacteria to replace Clostridium difficile. So it is not a good idea to discontinue probiotics use until your doctor says otherwise. In some cases, probiotics are prescribed before you start taking antibiotics, and during antibiotic use to reduce the incidence of antibiotic-associated diarrhea. If you do not complete or discontinue your probiotic supplements, you may not be protected against this common side effect of antibiotics. If you suffer from chronic diseases such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, your doctor may prescribe probiotic supplements or increase your intake of probiotic foods. If you quit probiotics in these cases, there's a possibility you will have severe symptoms once again. Can you cut your consumption or quit probiotics altogether? Well, in the clinical situations we just mentioned probiotic use is recommended, and it is a part of the therapy. So you should not stop probiotics unless instructed by your doctor. Even when probiotics are discontinued from treatment, a common question is whether dropping down your dose or quitting altogether is the best option. If you're insisting on quitting your probiotics during treatment, your doctor might recommend dropping down your dose instead. Probiotic discontinuation will not give you a rebound effect. This recommendation is only meant to evaluate how you feel as you drop down the dosage and make clinical decisions accordingly. Evidently, if you start having severe symptoms or resume your diarrhea, your doctor might recommend continuing with the previous doses of probiotics. On the other hand, some patients with Clostridium difficile infections may have an asymptomatic disease. They do not display diarrhea symptoms, so their symptoms do not measure their state of infection. You might need to get a stool culture and thorough clinical evaluation before deciding to drop down your dose further or discontinue probiotic treatment. The bottom line is, in general, if your doctor recommends a probiotic or you start one on your own, don't abruptly stop it. You could be causing more harm than good. Thanks for watching and make sure to watch the next videos with health tips which should show up right about now.